The fuck going on with y'all, man? Welcome back to another episode of One Piece. So, last episode, um, we learned, I mean, we already kind of knew, but Mary actually has like a, a spirit, you know, some kind of supernatural thing going on. Uh, Frankie called it a clouber man or some shit like that. Apparently, it's a thing where, you know, the crew shows a lot of respect, shows a lot of love for the ship. So much that the ship manifests itself into some kind of shipbuilding character that looks like a ghost. Okay? Um, and that makes it even more sad. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean... The Mary is at its wit's end, is in its, is, it is in its final days, you know, especially with the realization of looking at the bottom of the ship, at the keel, that's what it's called, right? It's destroyed. It has like, it doesn't have much time left, all right? Luckily, Frankie said he might, uh, m he might fiddle with the ship, he might mess with the ship a little bit to give it some more you know, some more days to live, some more lasting time. You know what I'm saying? He is one of those, sh one of the chosen shipwright disciples of Tom, right? Next to Iceberg. So I'm sure he's capable of doing that. Um, or maybe somehow transfer the manifestation, the spirit of Mary to another ship if possible. But that's assuming him and Usopp survive the boogeyman of CP9 who have arrived at Frankie's underbridge doorstep and uh, pretty much instantly killed his assistants <laughs> Moku and uh, something like that Moku and Zozu those are the names I don't know but um but yeah so CP9 is there I'm sure Frankie will try to put up a fight but seeing that CP9 instantly dispatched of Luffy and Zoro I don't think that's gonna happen and hopefully you still can get get out of here alive too because he is still a straw hat. He's the one holding it down for Mary. And um, hopefully CP9 isn't just, a couple, uh, isn't just a bunch of assholes right now. <laughs> Even though they kind of have been for five years in, the, in, uh, in Water 7. Um, so that's where we are in the story. So without further ado, let's get into it, man. This is One Piece episode 248, I believe. If you are not a member of the channel, members get early access to these One Piece reactions. And I'm like uh, 100 episodes ahead from the normal YouTube uploads. So if you want to become a member, you want to click that join button down below, okay? And of course, if you want to watch the full version of these reactions instead, you can head over to my page which is linked down below in the description on that patreon link you can find the full version of all the one piece reactions so far also early and of course other tv shows and animes like game of thrones breaking bad walking dead so on and so forth other than that like comment subscribe hit that bell algorithm shit and of course join the discord if you haven't already op248 let's go who is that Are they going to show us some flashbacks of Frankie and Iceberg's past? I would like that, actually. And hopefully they show Tom, too. Now that we know how important they are to the story. <laughs> For some reason, when I hear the the name Tom, I just picture a very well dressed white person. <laughs> I'm sorry, a very well dressed white male. You know what I'm saying? Is he a fish man? I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck? Hey, yo. Nah, he's easily, easily the best shipwright we've seen. He just threw a ship in the air and attached, <laughs> like, three pieces to it in the fucking air. What? That was badass, actually. Also, I, 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 I was not aware Frankie had the same, um attire when he was a child with the fucking speedos jesus christ man <laughs> what the fuck
Kokoro, that was her husband, right? And I even see the little frog. Why? Wait, okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. So why? Now that we know the frog was a part of the of Tom's family and Kokoro's, why is the frog trying to go up against the train? As like, as if it's like as its enemy. I'm already thinking of that. You, you, you already know there's got to be some reason behind that. Hmm. I wonder what he's drawing. I don't think it's the Pluton plans, right? Because, I mean, that's like an ancient weapon. So, this should be way older than, than this backstory. It's probably something to fix the Aqua Laguna. Because that, cause that, that's what's been happening, right? The Aqua Laguna. But, uh, no, Tom's just like a cool ass dude, bruh. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Did I just read that right? Tom is the one that built Goldie Rogers, the former f the King of Pirates. That actually makes so much sense. He, he's now confirmed the best shipwright in the world. What? That's crazy. How does how does it all link to the beginning of the anime? What the fuck? Yo, these writers are insane. Oh, a s wait, so he built the sea train and that helped Water 7 trade with other islands and that's why it's so luxurious, you know, in, in the in the current age. Oh, wow, okay. So Tom did that and the Oro Jackson, the fucking ship of the King of the Pirates, what? I didn't I just now realized how hard it, it would be to build an actual sea train just having the rail stay in place and this train safely going across it successfully that sounds incredibly hard Okay. Damn, they're giving him 10 years? Were, there, were they going to instantly execute his ass right now? Also, I feel like I know where this story is going. 10 years later, when he actually makes the ship, are they still going to kill him? I can already see that coming from the fucking government. God damn it. That's a good point. But I mean, that's the world they live in, right? Pirates are considered bad people. It is what it is. He's right, though. <laughs> I like seeing this backstory a lot, man. It really adds to what's going on right now. Frankie, Iceberg, Tom, shipbuilding, the sea train, holy fuck. And again, One Piece is really good at doing this. 
just intertwining everything that we've learned so far. Damn, bro. Tom seemed like a cool ass dude. How did he die? So now they're doing a little montage. Fast forward 10 years type shit on building the sea train. Polly. That's fucking Polly. Oh. <laughs> That's Polly, right? So they did it. Puffing Tom. Wow. Okay, I hope. So normally I um, normally I'm one for only, only wanting one episode for backstories. But honestly, I want them to keep going. I mean, they still have to explain how Frankie got into his accident, and they have to explain why Tom isn't alive anymore. I can only assume. Let's go ahead and make some predictions. I like making predictions. I sound smart. So I think Frankie's accident is going to happen because of the sea train. Like they forgot something's going to malfunction and then boom, he gets like split into fucking eight pieces and somehow still lives. Tom probably dies because of the dumbass Navy or the government because they let him build this sea train. 10 years hard work but he was still associated with building the Oro Jackson, which was apparently the ship of the former King of Pirates, Gold D. Roger. And because of that, he still has to die. That's whack. If they still kill him because of that reason, that is truly tragic. Like, what the fuck? I will hate the One Piece government forever. I even hate the real life government, but I'm not gonna go into that. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, that's my predictions. This, they're pretty basic, you know, and, you know, sometimes one piece is basic, sometimes it's not, so we'll see what happens. Um, but those are what I, those are my predictions for what I think is going to happen. But now this backstory is great. Okay, it really, because it's the thing, when we arrived in Water 7, um, nothing really stood out, you know, it just really seemed like, a town that was flourishing right iceberg frankie the shipwrights and then to to know that there was this much history behind these fucking characters is amazing okay the shipwrights are are a part of the assassination or organization cp9 like what and then tom and frankie are actually like pretty much brothers Related to Tom, the best shipwright in the world, who built the Oro Jackson, which is the Goldie Rogers fucking ship. Like, that is so much, like, there's so much layers, dude. Damn. See, an animes nowadays will not even think to do shit like this, except for Attack on Titan. Because it just takes too long. And we're, we're in an age of instant gratification, because TikTok and YouTube shorts and all this kind of shit, right? We're in this age of in instant gratification where people aren't willing to to go on that walk you know or they aren't willing to go on that path of for for a big payoff at the end type shit you know um but as someone who is i appreciate things like this in one piece where there's so many layers i can appreciate it you know i i can get attached to the characters more to the story to the plot and it's just great it's just nothing less than great it really is okay i gotta shave uh anyway can't wait to see what happens next episode. Frankie's accident. Tom's, you know, demise. Because he's not alive currently. Uh, I don't know how long. He's a fish man, right? Or do I have that wrong? Yeah, he's a, he's a puffer fish. Wait. Oh, the puffing Tom. Oh, shit. Look at that. <laughs> um, but yeah, because, I mean, he didn't look that, that old. So I don't think he died from old age. So he must have died from something or someone, right? So we're going to go into that. Um, and he he built the sea train with, and now which is the reason why water 7 is so successful like what the fuck damn that's crazy anyway 
That's gonna be it for the react next reaction or this reaction. I can't wait to watch the next episode though. I really can't. And if you, and if you guys enjoyed the episode just as much as I did, uh, go ahead and hit that uh, like, comment, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Algorithm shit. And of course, join the Discord if you haven't already. Um, if you're not a member of the channel, members get early access to these One Piece reactions. And I'm like at least 100 episodes ahead from the normal YouTube upload. So if you want to get access to those and to become a member, you want to click that join button down below, all right? And of course, if you want to watch the full version of these reactions instead, you can head over to my Patreon, which is linked down below in the description. On that Patreon, you can find the full version of all the One Piece reactions so far, also early. And of course, other TV shows like Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad, Walking Dead, shit like that. Other than that, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one, and I will see y'all on next episode of One Piece. Aight, peace.